When autumn's call brings out the deer, it is I who howls on morning clear. And when winter comes and birds take flight, look to me to sleep through the long gray night. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, cancel, I guess. I don't know. Aren't the, the woos coming for us? Not the woos! The moon's so bright, I won't need my flashlight. Now look what you've done. <gasps> that was a Strix Varia. At least I think it was. Never know for sure now, will I? Are you? My name's Red Knot, and if you've got a volume knob, I'd appreciate your taking it down a notch before you scare away everything from here to Lancaster. Oh. What? I'm Nancy Drew. What were all those noises out here just now? That was me, Miss Nancy Drew, calling in birds, and doing a pretty good job of it too, till you showed up. Where'd you come from, anyway? I drove in today from River Heights to visit my friend Sally McDonald. Now, why would you want to do a thing like that? The Malone house is no place for one young woman, let alone two. What do you know about the woman living here? Yeah. I talked to her a couple of times. But you know, the last time I saw her, she wasn't doing so good. She acted real anxious, scared. Did she say what was wrong? The dogs. <gasps> the dogs of Mickey Malone. No way. Legend goes that when Malone was finally arrested and hauled away, his four dogs went running off into the woods and were never mm. seen again. People would just hear them howling like their hearts were broken. Not Every the babies. Night until one by one, they all died and went silent. But every time someone tries living in the Malone house, back they come. I don't like it. Not the babies. Are you saying Sally's house is haunted by ghost dogs? Every night, ever since she moved in, you could hear them howling. <gasps> Ooh. And some nights the dogs would appear outside the house, running around, snarling and barking and throwing themselves at the doors and windows. And then they'd be gone. They're buried in the cemetery just beyond the house, you know. Them and Malone both. The dogs would attack her house? It's like they don't want anybody but Malone living there. I guess Malone. they don't know he's dead. And so are they. Wow. Did they ever attack Sally? She never gave them the chance. After the first attack, she stopped going out at night. Just locked the doors when it got dark and sat tight until morning. Why haven't the police investigated? This isn't New York City, Miss Nancy Drew. All they got around here is one officious little park ranger. Miss Nancy Drew. And all Drew. Jeff Akers does is sit around all day trying to figure out how he can get himself transferred out of here to a bigger park. Molati da. Are you a native of Moon Lake? I just come to Moon Lake in the spring to look for birds. Got an observation platform just up the path, mm. kind of my base camp, and I've got a little outboard down there on the lake. Left my car at the big dock up lake. Don't really need it. Are those the ghost dogs? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Which is why I think it would be a good idea if I went my merry way and you got yourself back inside that house. One more thing. The water in Sally's well needs to be tested. How do I do that? Get a sampling kit from Jeff Akers. Ranger station's on the east side of the lake. Good luck, Miss Nancy Drew. Adios. Good luck, Nancy. Some random bird dude. It's not safe to take the boat out at night. Okay. Oh, woo! Where are we going now? We're gonna need that. I better be careful. Uh oh. Right. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna go.
dead end. I think we are here. That's right, we passed the fallen tree. Alright, so now we're going to go left, right, left, right. Uh, we're just going to go. What's that? Log. Yellow ribbon. Oh, okay, Nancy, you're making notes. Gotcha. So we're going to go left. <gasps> Found it. Waldo. Piff and Paff Cedric Cosmo Cranky Now that's the kind of tombstone we like to see Goodness Oh my pearl Oh Oh marbles we are so sorry to have lost you. Marbles was a key. No. Stench. Okay. Looks like paw prints. <gasps> oh, goodness, the babies. Ooh. All right, Malone. Oh, Lucy, Iggy, Vitus, Venus, and Xander. Oh, the babies. If I remember the dates of their death or something, it is important later. I think. What else do we need to see? The stone pillar. All right, we need to go right at the ribbon. Nancy coming through with that sound design. Log. I'm gonna go back to the fallen tree. Whoops. This a long one? Uh, yeah. This is a long one. This is not a quick play. Oh, a shoe. Alright. Back and right. Crap. We went the wrong way. Uh, log. Okay, left at the fallen tree.
crap. All right, we got this. We need to go right. Okay, okay, we got it. Right. Right, left, right. Right, right. Right, left, right. Right. What? Oh, okay, we're good. We don't need that. Aha! That's, that's a stone pillar. Really? We came all this way for that? Exciting. Not really. Okay. The woo woos are coming. There's a ch chance that we need more wood. We've got three. Because the, the oh, woos are coming. We need a Lock the doors. What's this way? Oh, yeah. We've got the bird watching. That feels really uncool. That's, that's creeper behavior, sir. You just so happen to have a good view of our fucking house? No. Don't like that. It's not safe to take the boat out at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we messed up the lock. Is that all? Bird watch it. Right. Isn't that creepy? I don't like that, mister. This is not good. Should we open the door? That did actually startle me. We're gonna save the game first. I guess they are. Naughty woofers. Did we uh, peep that chandelier? The dog chandelier, anybody? Let me pet you. Where'd they go? Was that it? Oh. I didn't notice. Look at the dog chandelier! Oh, I love it.
Is that it? We gonna go bedtime now? All right. That was fast. Okay. Ta -ta -ta. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot it was taking notes for us. All right. Oh, okay. Um, the dog dates. Um, that corresponds with the poem over there on the wall. We need a testing kit. Yep, we went to the cemetery. Little mice friends to help us? I don't know. I don't know if I want their help. Bird watcher. Yep. Right, we need sandpaper to fix the statue. Right. Who are we? Oh, we gotta dial it ourselves. Nice. Let's, okay, let's call her back. Hello? Hey, Sally. It's Nancy. Nancy, did you see them? Did you see the dogs? Yes, I did, and I can understand why you left. They were pretty frightening. Oh. Well, if it's okay with you, I'd really like to stay and get to the bottom of whatever is going on. That's why you asked me here in the first place, right? Yes, but Nancy, are you sure? Positive. Consider Detective Drew officially on the case. I wish I were Detective even Drew. You are Nancy. Oh, I have such high hopes for that house. All the beauty there, the wildlife, all the pictures I was going to take. It would break my heart to have to give it up. What's a little little dog? Why is that so scary? They're just being naughty. I need you to tell me everything you can about those dogs. They're black and they have yellow glowing eyes and they don't like me one bit. When's the first time you saw them? Well, let's see. I heard them the very first night I was here. I heard them almost every night howling in the distance. But I didn't actually see them until I'd been here about a week. After that, they started appearing pretty much every other night. Hmm. Did they always come around the same time, or did it vary? Actually, they always came around the same time. What are you getting at? These attacks seem to involve a lot of choreography, which reinforces my theory that you're not being randomly attacked by a pack of wild dogs, but by dogs who've been trained by someone determined to scare you out of your house mm. at Moon Lake. Who would want to do that? My closest neighbor lives two miles away. My property is surrounded by the state park, but it's off-season, so hardly anybody is in the park. In fact, I bet I talked to a total of three people the whole four weeks I was at Moon Lake. Which three people? Let's see. The park ranger. I forget his name. Kind of a pain in the neck. Emily Griffin. She's the one who owns that store I told you about. And I ran into this bird watcher a couple of times. Had a funny name. Mm -hmm. Red Knot. I run into him too. Other than people I may have nodded hello to while getting gas or something, I swear those are the only people I've talked to at Moon Lake. What about River Heights? Can you think of anyone there who'd want you to sell your house at Moon Lake and move back to River Heights? <laughs> That seems like drastic. Like ex-boyfriend or something? No, nope, I sure can't. Since I'm going to be staying here a while, is there anything I should know about the place? Well, let's see. I've got the water turned off because it's well water and it needs to be tested before I can use it for anything. In fact, if you could get that testing done for me, I'd really appreciate it. I didn't sign oh, up for this. And watch where you walk in the living room. Some of the floorboards are so rotten you could fall right through. And I keep yeah, we know. faint squeaks and rustling type noises coming from below the floor. I hope you're not scared of mice. I could really use some sandpaper. Do you have any stashed away somewhere? Sure don't. Try M's Emporium. That's of on the course. west side of the lake. And brace yourself if you haven't been there yet. The place is something else. How well do you know the owner? I 
feel like I've known her all my life. She's so open and friendly. She likes to make it sound as if Moon Lake used to be a major hangout for criminals and degenerates. Oh, which isn't really like true us? And irks some people around here no end. But I figure she's just trying to make a buck. Well water gives you egg farts. <laughs> Is that the sulfur in it, Road Rash? Or is it just you? How do I go about getting your water tested? Try the ranger station on the east side of the lake. I've been told you can get some kind of kit there. Sure. I'm curious. Why did you characterize the park ranger as a pain in the neck? I left part of a ham sandwich on a picnic table once. Big mistake. From the way he carried on, you'd think I just made the FBI's ten most wanted list. I don't think he likes me. Emily says it's because I wrecked his dream of becoming Super Ranger or something when I bought the Malone house instead of the Parks Department. Me? I think he just basically has a problem relating to people unless they're asking questions or breaking the law. Well, la ti da Where'd all that stuff in your tool shed come from? It's just junk left behind by previous owners. Came with the house. I've been meaning to take inventory and start pitching stuff, but I didn't. If they ever make procrastination a crime, I'm done for. The wall hanging in the living room with a poem on it, and those dog carvings in that cabinet above the sofa. What can you tell me about them? Aren't they cool? They came with the place. Sold the clock. Apparently, Malone had them custom made when he built the house. In fact, they're all built into the house. Mm. They're still there because you can't move them. Spooky secret passages? I think so. Has the clock ever worked? Not for me. Oh, but get this. One day, I was messing with the hands, you know, trying to get them to work, and all of a sudden, one of the four little doors flew open, and instead of a cuckoo, this dog popped out and barked three times. Oh. It's a doggy clock. That Malone, bad as he was, he sure loved those dogs. I want a doggy cuckoo clock, a wolf wolf clock. <gasps> wolf wolf clock. Are you aware that you're the proud owner of your very own cemetery? Oh. Yes. When the realtor told me there was a cemetery on the property, I went, ugh. But when I saw how far from the house it was and how small it was, I decided I could live with it, as it were. Mm-hmm. Do you know if Malone is really buried there? The realtor said the cemetery was just a sham, that there's nothing under those tombstones but dirt. But he may have just been saying that so I'd buy the place. Right, right. The only way to know for sure whether or not Malone is there is to start digging, and I'm certainly oh. not going to do that. No, Talk thank to you. you. Later. Stay in touch. Boo. All right, let's call our girl Bess. George is always with her. I think they're an item. Uh. Ring a ling. Nancy, how's it going? Hey, Bess. How'd you know it was me? Telepathy, of course. Just another of my many talents. You are so full of it. She got caller ID, Nancy. So now, instead of hanging up on the geeks that always call her, she just doesn't answer the phone. Very funny. So what's up? No, we don't need a hint. We know what we're doing. Believe it or not, on some nights, this house gets attacked by a pack of dogs. Sally's so scared of them, she left me here by myself. Did you say dogs? She couldn't have, George. Dogs don't attack houses. Well... They were definitely dogs. They came out of nowhere and started leaping at the windows and scratching at the doors like they wanted to get in. Maybe that was just their way of being friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These dogs were not friendly, believe me. And they had glowing yellow eyes. A bird watcher I ran into said they were ghosts. Ghosts? <gasps> the man who built Sally's place on Moon Lake was a gangster. The bird watcher said that the ghosts of his dogs show up every time someone new tries to live here. The place is haunted by ghost dogs? Like there's such a thing as ghosts. But it does sound like you've got another mystery on your hands, Detective Drew. Detective Drew? Whoa. There's a private cemetery in the woods out back. Malone and his dogs are supposedly buried there. Bird watcher. And there were paw prints in the cemetery. Fresh paw prints. Are you sure you're going to be all right there by yourself? We'd volunteer to drive out there and keep you company, but unfortunately, my car's in the shop, and you know what a scaredy cat George is. That's okay. There's really no room, and believe Excuses. me, living conditions here are pretty primitive. Scaredy cat, huh? You're gonna pay for that remark, dear cousin. Oh, they're cousins. Maybe they're not together. 
Bye, you guys. Or are they? Ciao for now. <laughs> Ciao for now. Right. Okay, what do we need to do? We need to... Oh, we need to look at that poem again. Because that tells us the direction that the dogs are supposed to face. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. Spring. Summer. Autumn. Winter. Ooh. Right. Oh, we've got a color associated. Hmm. All right. And winter has gray. All right, we're missing some pieces of this one, but. Okay. Um, why do we just have a pen? Who cares? We need to go to the store and to the ranger. Let's see what we can get into, Nancy. Whoops. The boat's full of water. I need to bail out the boat. <sighs> Do it by hand. Crap! Okay. Is there a bucket in the shed? Yes. It was right there. Um. Do we use the siphon? Alright, nope. Just inhale more pesticides. 